Well, today I'm going to fix the agitator in our Whirlpool washing machine. This one's an Ultimate Care Imperial Series. I think it's Ultimate Care 2. And I suspect there's other models out there that are pretty similar to this. And we'll open this up and take a look at it. The agitator is actually, there's two parts, main parts to it. You have this top part is called the auger, and that works a little bit separate from the ag agitator down here. This would normally go around. And um, I'll show you what's happening. This is going to be a little noisy. I'll have to cut the sound down a little bit. I'm going to turn this on, and as the agitator goes, this should only go in one way. Maybe back a little bit, it should only go one way to push the clothes down to the agitator and then keep the whole thing going. So I'm going to turn that on, you can see what's happening. And I can actually hold that with my hand and stop it. I push down on it, now you kind of get an idea how it should be going. You want to be going one way. But the dogs in here that drive this are wore out. Turn that back off. So we're going to take this apart and then, uh, show you what's in there. First thing we do is take the this here is for the fabric to so, uh, softener. If you use that, and once you get that out, you can clean that off. Basically, all you do you don't take this apart. You just uh, rinse it out with warm water. Set that aside. Now down inside there, you can see we have this cover. Cover there that's got to come out. There's a bolt under there, and um, I'm able to get that out with my hands. You can get your hand in there and get a hold of it, or on the side, find these little slots. There's a couple of them, and if it lines up right, you can just put a screwdriver in there and it pops right loose and pull that right out. So you got that part. So now down inside there. We have a bolt that's got to come out. And that's the only thing that's really holding this all in there, is that one bolt. And this one is a 7 16 And get that in there. Now, I've had this apart once to see what was wrong, why it wasn't working right. So for me, some of the stuff is going to come apart a little bit easier than uh, what I did the first time. I took this apart. Oops, uh, still a little bit tight. I'll get that thing out of there. And actually that ad, this auger was down on the agitator pretty snug. So I'm not sure how it's going to be right now, but I'm going to find out here. There we go. And there's a big rubber washer. You can buy, I only ordered parts that I need in there. And then I get a new bolt. You could get a new bolt, new washer if you wanted to. So take that out, set that aside. Now this whole thing, Try to get this out. Oh, knock at the camera over. Should uh, my first did this? It was a little bit tighter. That's going to come apart a little bit easier for me. Take that right out. This whole unit. Okay. Now I'll set that down somewhere. And uh, I got water in there. Now you probably wouldn't want to have water in there when you're doing this. I just did it so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Now. Pull the auger off of the agitator, and I'm going to step on the agitator on the edge. I'm hoping this comes off fairly easy. When I first did this, it was pretty tight. You don't want to break anything, so it's kind of, oh, there we go. That one came off pretty good. I uh, had it off once before. And right here, something called a thrush washer. And this one was pretty wore out. I didn't know that was under there. So we're going to replace that right away, too. I bought a new one of those. 
and I'm thinking it sets in there like this. When I first took it apart, it flew right out of there. I'll take a little closer look at that. Okay, so there's the thrush washer. We've got a new one of those we're going to replace. And then inside here is the unit we want to take that out. Hopefully we've got enough light here. And this, this whole thing comes out. What this does is See down inside the auger, there's a, looks kind of like a gear in there. So, how that works, so we got this. This yellow part here is called a bearing. And I take that off. These are the dogs. And what's happened now is these dogs are supposed to catch that gear in there. And as that goes around, that drives the gear one way and won't let it go back the other way. And these are all wore down. I could have just replaced these. I could have bought just new dogs, they call them. And uh, four of them I needed. But this whole, these, all these parts right here weren't that much more expensive, so I just bought the whole unit. That way, if anything, here's about ready to go, just replace it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put together the new one and put it in there. Okay, these are factory certified parts. Here's what we all got. You have this cam type outfit, got the dogs. Now the dogs are just going to fit right in there like that. I have to, you know, pretty much only put them one way. Try putting it the other way, it just isn't going to look right even. See if that just ain't right. It'll just fit right nice and in here. This part here, this is called the bearing. And um, see how it's built like that. So you're gonna put it down like this, and it fits right, right in here. Right down. You push that down. Now that bearing holds the dogs in, so they won't fall out. It doesn't really snap in place. It just uh, sets in there and uh, holds them. So last time I put this back together, I had a little bit of a problem getting that down in there. Oh, it's falling apart. So this goes back in and it's going to go in like that. And hopefully it'll all hold together. If it doesn't, there's another way we'll do this. But I'll just get that down in there. Whoops. It fell apart. Okay, rethink that. That's how we're going to have to do it. all back together. So what we'll do is just turn the cam, I mean the agitator upside down, make sure you got this positioned right how it's going to have to go in there. So now you got that up like that and we're just going to bring that down over the top of that. Get that right in there. There we go. So let's take a look at that. And that's how it should look when it's back in there. The next thing is we're going to take this thrust washer, the old one off of there. Old thrust washer off of there. It's a new one. And, um, Kind of interesting on the new one. It says we should have some grease to put on there, and it gives a part number and instructions. And I did not know that, so I do have what I'm going to be using is this plumber's faucet and valve grease. It should work. dark black grease or any 
think should use stuff that's made for this thing. Okay, anybody out there ever did this and knows what they're doing? If you see I'm doing it wrong, make sure you put it in the comments. So here's the new thrush washer. Okay, put the auger back over that. And we're going to want to hold the this unit that you just replaced. I'm going to hold that down in there so it don't hit that pop up off of there. And if you notice, there's these little tabs here. If you look inside here, that's, they have to line up with this unit that we placed. Okay, we got them lined up. And I'm gonna, if I'm lined up, I don't have it shoved in there yet, so I'm gonna get something to help me push that on. Should just pop right on there. Okay. Feels like you're on there. Just give it a little bit extra. It and I think I got something done and everything falls apart on you. Okay. Uh, we're a little bit more stubborn than I thought. I had to shove down. And now you can see this auger only goes one direction. I push it this way and then it, those dogs come out and stop it from going the other what direction. So I'm going to put this back in the wash machine, put it all together, and we'll see how it works. Okay, put the whole unit back in there, and you can see this. So this is like a little gear that's going to fit right down on there and hold everything in place. So get that down here. Got water in there, obviously. So line that up and wait a little bit. And there we go. Right down. Now let's find our bolt here. And if you got some lock nut stuff, it'd probably be a good idea to put some on here. I don't have any, so we're just gonna put this on here. Get down there, snugger down good. But uh Oops, everything's made out of plastic nowadays. Well, not everything, but a lot of things. So we have to be careful we don't over torque it. Just make sure it's good and tight, but don't want to break anything. Hate that when that happens. Okay. Got that in. Next thing we got to put in is this cover here. It's a little tight, you can put a little soap on there. And line these up with one of those slots in there. <clears throat> so if next time you have to take that out, it'll be a little bit easier. But uh, like I say, you can reach in there and pretty well pop it out with your fingers. And make sure that's down in there. You can hear it pop back in. So that's in there. Get our fabric softener thing. This just pushes in there. So, got that all back in there. Here's the auger, it goes freely that way, which it's supposed to do. And you can see it catches, those dogs come out, catch it and prevent it from going back. So, we're gonna start this washing machine up. I'll throw an old pair of jeans in there and see what happens. And put a little baking powder in there, baking soda in my powder. And we're going to turn it on. Watch that baby go.
I can see how it's pushing them jeans right down in there. The battery went dead while I was doing this, but I got one pair in there and we'll put the rest of my darks in there. See how that's going around nice? Now normally it would kind of stop a little bit when I get a heavy load in there, like that. Get the idea there. That's how she's supposed to work. And I'm going to put a little bit more water in there and uh, finish the rest of my darks. I don't like uh, fabric softener, so I didn't put nothing in there. There we go. Put some more water in there. Got all my darks in there. A heavier load. Now you can see that's how that auger should be working. I just see down in the water, just rolling those clothes down, back around, pounding all the dirt out of them. And my jeans can get pretty dirty when I work out in the yard. Well, there you have it. Not quite like new. No, this I've had this washer for a while, but it should last another year or two or three or until the wife wants a new washer.